Okay, this is the second video in a series of videos uh, on Control 4 and Cosatune's integration. In uh, this particular instance, what we're going to be doing here is um, we've got our Cosatune system set up, which has 12 rooms. Uh, so we can see the, the, all the different rooms here in our house. Um, these uh, match uh, our configuration from earlier. And that uh, if we select a room, let's, uh, let's, let's pick the office for example, uh, you'll see here that we have uh, the option to listen to music. So if we go into that, we now see that we'll now see all our four players. Um, so we can select music from each of these players, and each of these players can obviously be playing uh, different types of music. Now, as far as naming the players go, we've just we just named the players player one, player two, player three, player four. There are other naming schemes that you can use. So, for example, you could name uh, player one to be dad's player and player two to be mom's player and so forth. Uh, that's a good way of doing it. Another nice way of doing it, especially with our larger systems where you have uh, you know, potentially 12 or more players, you can actually configure these players so that they, 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 for example, play a specific genre of music. So they could be jazz or rock and roll or pop or something like that. And then to change the music, you can just switch between the players. So there's a lot of flexibility that you get with Cosatunes, especially in the larger systems where you have a lot of different uh, players available. So let's look how we can select music uh, using the player. So let's go ahead and uh, go into player one. And you'll see here there's three tabs. Um, there's my music, there's music services, and there's playlists. Okay. So the my music uh, is essentially all my music that's either loaded onto my music server or uh, has been synced using Cosatune Sync. In this case, is we sync we sunk some iTunes music, or um, we can access the music uh, via on DLNA media servers, for example, uh, on this uh, ready NAS drive. So um, the music services uh, Cosatunes provides uh, many different music services. Um, including things like BBC Radio and Deezer and Pandora. Uh, we have a bunch of them, SiriusXM, Slacker, Spotify, Shoutcast, um, quite a few different ones. Tidal is a high definition uh, CD lossless quality uh, music service that's very good. Uh, so we have lots of different uh, music services there. And then finally we have the playlist. So, we have two types of playlists. We have Cosatune's playlists, uh, which you can create very easily by just saving the cue content. So once you've selected the songs that you want to listen to and put them in the cue to play, you can then save that cue as a Cosatune's playlist. But in addition to that, we actually aggregate the playlist from the various different music services that we have. And so, for example, uh, these are all Cosatune's playlists, but uh, You'll see here in a second. Uh, so now we have the Deezer playlist. So these are, are all my playlists that are in Deezer as well. So we have this concept of aggregating the playlist from all the different music services that you support. So it makes it really easy to select your playlist without having to drill down into the music service itself. Okay, so let's go back and let's just uh, say that I want to play an album uh, off of my uh, in my, one of my local albums, so I can just uh, drill down into the albums over here. And uh, let's say that I want to play uh, Sheryl Crow. I just keep drilling down uh, until I get to this point here where I'm showing you the contents of the album. So there's 12 songs in this album. Uh, it'll take uh, an hour to play them all. And here I can either uh, play the, I can either uh, replace the contents of the queue and play these songs or I can add these songs, I can add this album essentially to the queue, or I can add this album to the queue and then start playing the songs from that album now. So let's go ahead and just, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and, and play the songs in the queue. And it gives you the feedback that it's actually playing uh, 12 songs. <clears throat> now, 
if, if I want to select a specific song, uh, I can just pick the individual song and then it'll offer me the option of either playing that song now, adding it to the queue, uh, or adding to the queue and playing now. So let's just go ahead and then play now and it will play that song. So uh, let's go back. Uh, let's go and select the playlist. And let's go ahead and select uh, Coldplay. Now let's go ahead and play that. Okay, so we've added 195 songs to the queue. So in addition to browsing for your music, you can also search for music. So let's go ahead and search. And we're going to go ahead and search for uh, Genius, uh, which is a an album by Ray Charles. So here we see that uh, in this case, um, that in our iTunes results, um, we have uh, Genius Loves Company. And one thing to point out here is that um, the search results is a aggregated search. So not it searched all the different music services and all my local musics for uh, the results. So I can go into the iTunes album over here uh, and then I can start playing it. Now, let's go to the let's go and see the queue itself. So the, the easiest way to see the queue is just to click on this this little icon down at the bottom of here, and this uh, gives me uh, what, what's currently in the queue. So <clears throat> if I want to um, pick a different song to play, I can simply just select that song and it'll start playing that song. Uh, or of course I can go back and forth through the transport controls and all that kind of stuff. Now, as we said before, um, if I want to create a playlist, I can simply select the Add Playlist button here and, and just give it a name and that will create a new Cosatunes playlist. Uh, and then we have the More buttons over here and you can see here's the various options that I have. So I can clear the Now Playing queue. I can save the now playing queue, which is which would then prompt me to enter the name for the playlist that I want to give it. Uh, and then we also have uh, different repeat modes and shuffle modes. So this is indicating that currently repeat is on. And if I select this, it'll now go to once. So repeat once. And if I selected it again, it would go from repeat once to off. So let's go ahead and just select that. So now you can see it goes to repeat once, and if I select it again, the repeat will be turned off. And now, <clears throat> uh, from off, I can go back to on. And similarly with the shuffle. Now if I want to clear the queue, I can also just uh, hit the D button over here. And it'll, it'll prompt me to make sure that I want to clear the queue, and uh, I can say no. If I want, if, if so, currently we're playing this music in the office, and let's suppose that I want to add the master bedroom uh, to listen to the same music. So I can click on my zones button over here, and now I can add rooms to this player one. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and add the master bedroom. And once I add the master bedroom, it'll add it uh, to this, and then music now starts playing in the master bedroom. Similarly, if I want to remove a zone, a room from the uh, player one, I can uh, turn that room off and it will disconnect from player one. Now, the other thing that's kind of nice is I can actually um, use the native app as well. Uh, so the native app, the native app works and integrates seamlessly uh, with the, the Control 4 app. So I'm just bringing up my native app over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go ahead and add the uh, master bathroom uh, to this list. <clears throat> and so I did that using the native app, and it integrates uh, perfectly with the Control 4. So it doesn't, doesn't matter whether you're using the Control 4 app to control the system or the Cosatunes app. They both work uh, synergistically together. And similarly, if I, if I turn off that, that master bathroom now, uh, it will remove it from the uh, list of rooms that are listening to that player. Okay, that's pretty much a uh, quick summary of the Cosatunes, how to use the Cosatunes uh, Control 4 application.